um, there's bed nerfs for pack developers if they wish to do that. I don't know if that would be something that's enabled by default though. As a randomized respawn point. Again, not sure if that would work in with the bed or not, but most likely. Um, again, not sure if it's by default or otherwise. Destruction of bed on spawn. So, let's see. We'll just sleep here, which is obviously not spawn. And then we'll see what happens. Nothing. Can break it. Okay. Um, again, I'm assuming that's if it's in the spawn area, which we will teleport to since I don't really need to be in this village much longer. So we'll just do that. And we'll teleport back. I do have another specific mod as well, so that's also going to be a problem. It's a data pack. It's going to be a problem then. Okay, let's see. I want to go back to wherever I put that portal. Which I don't remember. Oh, I'll just create a new one. So that's going to be a problem then. And obviously, it isn't part of this mod, so don't get confused there. in and we'll go to spawn and it's probably sent me to a completely different location so that's going to be awkward um, so I can't really demonstrate that currently right now the ability to throw items so we'll try with certain things that you typically can't if I can come up with anything let's see uh, right arrows possibly to give items uh, okay so we can't throw those we'll try snowballs so we can do those we'll try fireballs we'll try fireworks get a bow and additional things I'm trying to think what else can we do Throw that, throw snowballs, try eggs, throw those. I'm trying to think, what's something you could throw that you typically can't? Because um, there's no spears or any other type of throwable daggers or something that I can think of. Um, again, probably stuff maybe to configure in the configs rather than the default ability. You can hold down your drop key to charge a throw and the release and watch it in the distance. Okay. So, okay. Probably won't affect an arrow. Oh, okay. So hold it and then release. Interesting. So we can throw anything. It doesn't actually have to be a projectile. So we'll try with something like a fireball. And we'll see what happens. It probably won't capture something on fire. We'll just throw it. So we'll try it over here and also in the sky and we'll see that it's already gone. Okay, now I'll we'll actually try this down below because I'm assuming it won't. Okay, so it may or may not make it so that we can also pick it back up again. Yep, so we can. It's just that it's being thrown quite a ways. Good to know. Otherwise, you've got the ability for items to be affected by weight, or the player to be affected by item weight, I should say, which we've already covered with the weight system already. Um, we'll do damage to entities based on speed and weight, so I'm assuming if you do have a sword, which is what I had it for before, it may have it where it determines player or mob specific damage differences. So spawn on a zombie, for example. We're gonna want, or they will do that to us, probably more likely. Okay. Uh, we'll try with something else, like a spider. If I can find the regular ones. Oop. 
more probably damage numbers being applied. Because I don't think I have another pack that does that. Or another mod currently. So you'll be able to find out probably how much damage you're doing to them. I'll actually try with speed though. So, oop. Okay. That's interesting. I'll actually fill a lot of stuff in our inventory. See how much that does to us. Uh, okay. Right, creative, that's not going to affect us. That makes sense for me. There we go, so we're already encumbered. So remove all of that to a degree. Because we'll do this as base damage. And we'll see. So, eight something there. So not too much difference, but either way, probably could be after a while. At least as far as I can tell. There's obviously an FOV clamp to prevent your FOV from changing too much, and there's an extensive config system, which we'll get into now. So, as you can see, You've got a bunch of ID dumps, so the file can be, or will be overwritten on the world reload, and the data has a certain structure, like so, that's also available in the Lua file. So I'm assuming this is listing every single block and item, possibly? Now we'll actually see if we can get further down, and plantables, a bunch of other stuff, enchantments, I'm assuming it's going to be only the base game is not going to include any of the modded stuff we've already added. And there's also the other configs. Now, so you could do quite a bit probably with the ID dumps, but uh, I'm not going to get into those too much. You can tweak the default entity susceptibility. Not too sure on that. Um, possibly them noticing you or some other sort of damage specific stuff. I'm not 100% sure. Um, or possibly to do with the item throwing distance or something. Uh, so I'm assuming that will be that the, it'll be the case where it shows the player in that sort of position when they're over encumbered. Um, otherwise you've got default entity max weight, so you could tweak that to be a lot higher or lower to make things a bit more interesting stack sizes and otherwise. You've got the max throw factor, so I'm assuming that may be just how far it charges up to, or the distance. You've got the display encumbrance icon, which is obviously in the top left. You've got the FOV clamp, so I'm assuming that's probably just how much of an effect it has, rather than just how much of the FOV it is using to give a clamp effect, I'm not sure. Um, there is a random respawn range of 11.2, so I'm assuming that's the consideration of the bed respawning, or the respawn benefits of sorts. There's also Shokerbox weight reduction factor, is 1.0, so you can change that to be higher or lower, unless 1.0 is the highest, most likely. You've got the destroy bed respawn, so I'm assuming that maybe something happens after you take damage or something, and you respawn, and you do in your bed, and you're possibly in the spawn point area, and it happens just to remove your bed or something like that. There's the lure config loading the default, rather than possibly changes that you've made to it. There's the weight efficiency, sorry, the weight effect with an elytron, or when you're swimming. There's also a potion effect weight scale factor, and there's a throwing meter showing or not option there. And there's obviously the lure file right here that allows you to tweak quite a bit of things. I probably would be careful if you don't really know what you're doing, which I'm not going to tweak anything because I really don't know, um, besides what the names really suggest. So there is obviously changes for weight, stack sizes, hardness, and a bunch of other stuff. Um, but I'm not sure how much you could scale. Um, there's stack weight, generation of a table, it seems. 
I'm assuming this is for the weight or block tags or something. No, okay. Um, and a bunch of other operations and things, processing item, process of items, blocks, water to ice ratio, ice density, a bunch of different things for weight normalization of different blocks. I'm assuming that makes up a fair amount of this the different types, so for the different items, so if it affects, I'm assuming just regular or modded, different types of blocks like any type of pressure plates, logs, no okay they are separate and individual it seems, uh, music discs, fish, arrows, boats and so on, config table for different types of blocks, or exceptions that apply to the weight system. It's a sort of blacklisting I guess stuff that you don't want to apply to the weight system at a guess. Uh, single stack blocks heavy and you've got armor that is also considered as well as a few other additional things for non-stackable and single stack sizes. So I'm assuming that's when it determines the differences um, based on what weight you already have, so say like 50 leaves in a stack, or um, 7 wool or something that you saw prior. Otherwise though, thanks so much for watching, and goodbye.